In the last section, we confirmed that we were correctly getting our list of videos over to the Electron side of our application. We then went back and referenced some of the code inside of the first project that we worked on, where we fetched metadata about a singular video. I then mentioned that fetching data for multiple videos at a time might be a little bit more challenging. So let's continue right now by talking about why exactly it's going to be so much more difficult to fetch data on multiple videos at a single time. So the topic that we're about to talk about is not really Electron or React or Redux specific. This is more of a discussion about handling asynchronous processes or asynchronous tasks inside of Node or JavaScript code in general. So this is more of a very general discussion that we're about to have with handling multiple asynchronous tasks running at a single time. I do want to say that the code that we're going to write to solve uh, this fetching problem or the problem around fetching multiple video file metadata at a single time is some pretty advanced stuff. Like this is definitely at the upper end of how complex JavaScript code gets. So if this stuff seems challenging, I'm not surprised. Again, this is really tough stuff that we're about to talk about. I just want to throw that out there just to make sure that you understand that, you know, if this sounds confusing, it's because it is. Okay, so now that I've scared you off, hopefully not really, now that I've scared you off, let's talk a little bit about the problem that we're facing here. So when we used FFprobe in the past, we called FFprobe, we then waited for some time to pass, and then when FFprobe was complete, we executed the callback function that we passed to it. So that callback function ran, and we knew that the entire metadata fetching process was complete, because we only had a single file that we were fetching metadata for. So things start to get really weird and really confusing once we start to implement multiple metadata fetches that are running in parallel. So let's talk about why that is. Okay, so I want you to now imagine that we queue up four videos to be processed or four videos to be converted. We are going to want to fetch metadata on all four videos in parallel. Like we don't want to fetch data on this video and wait for that metadata fetch to complete and then go to this one and then go to this one and then go to this one. That's a waste of time. We want to kick off the metadata fetching process for all four videos at the exact same time so that it is a process that runs in parallel. So why is this so confusing? Why is this so complicated? Well, let's talk about why. why. Why does this get more complicated? Here's why. Let's imagine that we kick off the metadata fetching process for all four videos at the same time. Now, we've said that we only know that the metadata fetching process is complete because our callback gets called. So let's imagine for a second that this video finished first. So we fetch metadata and the entire fetching of metadata process completed for this video first, and then for this one, and then for this one, and then for this one. So they are not all going to just magically complete at the same time. They're going to finish fetching metadata in some distinct, like not at the same time. It's always going to be some different order. Maybe the first time around, we fetch data on this video first. And then the next time, it's on the third video first. We never know. We have no guarantees whatsoever. Maybe the next time, the last video fetches meta metadata first. So the callback function over here gets called the first. The problem that we are going to run into very quickly is that when, say, this callback right here gets called, we do not know whether or not the callbacks on all the others have been called yet. We don't know. We have to keep track of that somehow. We have to say, okay, this callback just got called, but did everyone else also finish fetching metadata too? Is everyone else ready to go? because we don't want to send an event back over to the React and Redux side of our application until all of these videos have finished fetching metadata. That's the key here. That's the challenge. When we're working with callbacks, it's really tough to figure out when the entire batch of processes is complete. Okay, so just to be clear, that's what the big challenge here is. We do not have an easy way or an easy built-in way of saying, okay, well, if video number four is complete, that must mean that everything else is complete. You know, that's not true. We can't just go ahead and assume that. So again, this is a problem that is common to all Node.js code, all Node applications. This is not something that's tied explicitly to just Electron or to FFmpeg or anything like that. 
So now that we've discussed what the problem is, let's talk a little bit about exactly how we're going to solve it. So to solve this problem of understanding when all of our FF impro processes are complete, we're going to take care of this in two steps. First, we're going to wrap every single metadata fetch inside of a promise object. So we're going to create a new promise. When the callback gets called, we will then resolve this promise. We'll create a promise for the second fetch. When this callback is complete, we'll then resolve this promise, and so on with the other two as well. So every single metadata fetch is going to be wrapped up inside of its own promise, and once the callback is complete, we'll then resolve that promise. So as you can imagine, yes, this is where things start to get really confusing or really complicated. So I am kind of assuming here that you're familiar with promises and you are familiar with how they work. So if you're not entirely sure, this might be a good time to pause the video and read up on promises a little bit more. So if we now have one promise for every single metadata fetch that's running, we can then get a signal or a callback when all the different promises have completed fetching our metadata by wrapping them inside of a promise.all call. So if we feed in an array or in a list of different promises to promise.all, this is a function right here, we can then get a very clear event signaled back to us that says, hey, all the different promises or all the different metadata fetching processes have been completed and we now have the updated list of all the different videos with the duration of each particular video as well. So that's how we're going to solve this problem of understanding when all the metadata fetching is complete. We're going to wrap every single FF Pro call inside of a promise and then combine all these promises together with a promise.all call. Whew. Yes, confusing stuff. Challenging. No question about it. So let's take a quick break. We're going to come back in the next section and we're going to wire this big old asynchronous process up into one nice, easy to read call using promises. So take a quick break and tackle this in the next section.